Welcome back, YouTube, to another episode of Shenanigan Plays The Legend of Heroes Trails of Gold Steel. We are going to finish up our bonding events here uh, with Sarah and hopefully get our two um, non essential quests knocked out. So let's go ahead and do further. Okay, let's boogie. Huh? I wonder what she's heading out onto the highway for. I mean, it is her, so I probably don't need to be too concerned. Should I follow after her? Yes, follow after her. Right, let's go. Is she planning on taking all of them on by herself? Hey, looks like I've got no shorters of dance partners today. All right, time's a wasting, so let's get started. Hope y'all can keep up. Instructor. Reen, what are you doing out here? It's too dangerous to fight this many on your own. Let me help. Ah, I'm touched. I think I've got this, though. Why don't you just sit back and watch and begin? We could have handled them by ourselves too. Only because we're like level 80 something. There we go. Easy peasy. Uh, wow. You beat those monsters so hard, I almost felt bad for them. <laughs> how do you, how do you like that? Willing to admit how awesome and cool your instructor is now? Well, I can't deny your skill, at least. So, you came out here to train, then? Pretty much. I wander out here every now and then to lay into the wildlife. A gal's gotta stay in shape somehow, you know. <laughs> I guess I looked pretty dumb rushing in to try to help you out, huh? That's not entirely true. I appreciate the sentiment, at least. Seeing you dashing in, all worried about little old me, it made me smile. Alas, dear Reen... I don't want to break your sweet young heart, but we're teacher and student. It'd never work out. Tragic. How will I ever cope? Anyway, now that you're here, you might as well get in on the fun. Think of it as a special private lesson just for you. Well, ignoring how staggeringly easy it would be to misinterpret that, sure, I'll join you. In fact, I'd be glad to. Hehe, <laughs> attaboy. And so, Reen joined Instructor Sarah in a wild brawl against the monsters on the highway. And after he'd spent the last of his stamina, he made his way back to the dorm. Your bond with Instructor Sarah strengthened. Yeah! Alright, so on to our first... Um... Secondary task? Side quest? Side quest. Yeah, that's what they're called. I know words. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of that photography one first, shall we? See what Rex has been up to. And I'm assuming we'll have to go to the actual photography club for that. That would make sense. Photography club. Yes. You must be Fidelio. You sent in a request about the photography club to the student council, right? Yeah, that's me. I'm actually head of the photography club. Given that you're a first year helping out the student council, I suppose that makes you the reen I've heard about. Guilty as charged. I believe your request said something about an issue with a first year club member. That's right. I was hoping I could handle it on my own, but that's becoming less and less likely. I really do want to stop Rex, though, so would you mind... So would you be willing to lend me a hand? Yes! 
Of course, let's get him. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Like I said, the matter I want to discuss with you concerns a first year student by the name of Rex. Apparently, he's been taking inappropriate photographs of girls without their permission. And to make matters worse, he's been exchanging them in shady deals with some other boys at the school. Well, that definitely sounds pretty sketchy. In fact, it sounds like a blatant violation of the Academy's rules. Indeed, it does. I'm not sure exactly what kind of photographs they are, or what he's exchanging them for. But the fact he's violating the rules of the Academy is clear. If he keeps it up, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up suspended, or even expelled. And that's why I want to stop him, before it's too late. That's true. He's practically doomed if the instructors or the girls themselves find out about this. Speaking of which, have you tried to dis have you tried discussing this with Rex in private? I've asked about it a few times in passing, but he always plays innocent. I assume he thinks it's safe to continue as long as he doesn't get caught in the act. I see. In that case, let's catch him in the act. Bust him while he's exchanging his photos. I wish I didn't have I wish it didn't have to come to this, but I don't think we have any other choice at this point. But a word of warning. He's been extremely vigilant lately. I think I might have raised the issue one too many times and put him on guard. Which is why I'm going to ask you to catch him for me. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Rex and I might be from different social classes, but have always seen us as friends who shared a mutual trust. All I want is for him to understand what he's doing and stop. But it does make me sad that it's come to this. We'll just have to hope that catching him in the act will give us the chance to show him what he's doing is wrong. I suppose you're right. Either way, he seems to have a number of prearranged spots where he conducts these deals. I've managed to work out two of them so far. The first of them is behind the storage building on the field, and the other is near the old schoolhouse. Mm, those spots do seem secluded enough to get away with some shady business. He has a good eye for these things. You're going to want to be careful when trying to get near him, though. He has a knack for sensing danger. Tread very lightly. I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, I'll start looking for him in the two spots you mentioned. Quest snapped. Started. So first we'll go to the storage building. See if he's hanging out around there. And then if he's not, we'll go to the old schoolhouse. And of course, the storage building that they are referring to is the one and only storage building right here. Oh man, this picture's great. Rex, you're an artist, a genius even. Haha, <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but you're totally right. I am a genius. Found him. Looks like Fidelio hit that nail right on the head. Now I just need to see a deal go down. So, have you got the goods? Of course, man. I brought some top quality stuff. Now we're talking. Let's get... Hold up. What's going on, Rex? Don't tell me it's that Fidelio guy again. Nah, not him. It's just a feeling. Let's split up for now. We'll meet back up at Area B. Got it? Got it. Why'd I get so quiet all of a sudden? What the? They're gone. Wait, did he sense I was here and run away? Sure seems that way. Right over those boxes by the looks of it. So this is what Fidelia meant about him being really good at sensing danger. He'll be a tough one to catch. It's not gonna happen if I waste my time standing around here though. Better find out where he went. I'm sure we know where group, I mean not group, uh, area B is. Gotta be the, the old schoolhouse, right? I was gonna say the academy schoolhouse, but like, the academy is a schoolhouse. Hey, you. Oh, hey, Patrick. 
I see you're had a, you're hard at work again as the student council's errand boy. Though I can hardly imagine a more fitting role for the ringleader of a class of misfits. Um, he almost seemed kind of down after last month, like he regretted what he said. But it looks like we're back to the old Patrick again. What are you smiling about? I hope you're not expecting an apology for what I said last month, because if so, you'll be waiting a long time. I admit, losing my composure like that wasn't befitting of my status as a member of the nobility, but I... Yeah, I get it, I get it. I don't feel bent out of shape or anything, so let's just put it behind us, okay? Tch, trying to feign nonchalance, are you? I always have to be cool, the cool one, don't you, Schwarzer? <laughs> no matter. I'll leave you to take care of whatever menial chores you've been saddled with today. But I have no intention of letting you get the better of me again, in the classroom or in combat, so be ready. Uh, what was that all about? And why did he just randomly stop? I guess that means he really has been dwelling on what happened last month this whole time. <laughs> Maybe he's not half bad after all. To the old schoolhouse! Yes. Not a bad spot to uh, post up either. Good view of people coming in. There he is. The same guy from before is with him too. He should have the pictures on hand, so now would be the time to ask. Sorry, do you have a minute? Who's that? Have you got a new customer? Nah, pretty sure that's Reen from Class 7. You know, the guy who's always helping out the student council. Damn, we just about closed the deal too. He might have been the one you noticed earlier then. No doubt about it. And he said it's straight for us. We can't let him see the stash though. Well, what are we going to do? He's already pretty close. Don't worry, I've got a plan. If we make it out of here alive, we'll meet at point C. You ready? Yeah. I've got some questions for you two. Whoa! What are you doing over there in that revealing swimsuit, Elisa? Oh, Reen, you fell for the oldest trick in the book. Wait, Elisa? Why would she even be in a swim... Exclamation! Son of a... And they're gone already. Well, they're fast, if nothing else. Ah, uh, they got me good this time. It didn't seem like they'd finish their trade, though. I've been to the places Videlio mentioned, but it seems like they have another meeting spot. They'll want a place no one will find them. Maybe like a building that's not used very often. I better start searching, then. A building that's not used very often. Well, obviously it's not the old schoolhouse. It's not the library. It's not the student union building. It's not the engineering building. Obviously not the schoolhouse. It wouldn't be the uh, training hall. It's not going to be the writing hall or the, uh, the, I mean, the stable or the... Uh, this thing, the storage building, which leaves but one possible building on campus that it could be, and that is the ceremony hall. Auditorium. Yeah, that's what they call it. The auditorium's open. Maybe he found his way in here. Let's go. Hmm... Can we go back here? Oh, we can. Nice. Nice. I'll take this one. Well then, it was a pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, seriously? Again? Okay, gotta go later. Well, wait up, Rex. Okay, hand it over. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you, but you shouldn't have that photo. Ah, uh, guess I'm sunk. Fine, here you go. Reen confiscated the offending photo. Is this President Toa? I'm a big fan, alright? What, you got a problem with that? Not exactly. 
I wasn't really sure what to expect when I heard that Rex was taking inappropriate photos, but this is just a picture of her working like she always does. Isn't it great? It's Toa in her natural habitat. How can your heart not melt when you see that sweet look of determination? Sneaking a picture like this is an art. And you can't deny that Rex is a master of his craft, can you? Can you? Well, I really can't. But he still took this photo without permission, so... Yeah, I figured as much. That's why I handed it over. But are you sure you shouldn't be sent... Are you sure you should be standing here talking to me while Rex gets away? Er, yeah, good point. I can tell that he's still somewhere in the auditorium, though. Seems like he's planning on hiding out in here and hoping I'll leave. Got some bad news for you, Rex. Either way, I'd better not catch you buying candid photos again. Got it? Yeah, got it. Alright, so where would Rex have gone? Hmm. Ah, there he is. You're not doing a very good job of hiding there, Rex. They can't see me. I can't see them. It's because you're facing a wall, dude. Sorry, Rex. It's over. There's nowhere to run. Just come quietly and brace for a lecture from Fidelio. Confuddlefication! Uh, how do you even think to look up here? Alright, the game's up, Rex. Hand over all the photos you've taken without their subject's permission. And don't even think about holding on to the photo courts you used to take them. Fine... This is all I've got left, though. Fidelio took the photographs and photo quartz from Rex. Sorry, I had to adjust my mic there. Yeah, so much better. Wow, they're remarkably varied, aren't they? It looks like they're even more on the photo quartz, too. <laughs> well, yeah. These are really nice photos, though. I'm surprised. So am I. They'll, they're all very characteristic of the girls featured in them. They really convey each girl's individual charms. So, you like them too, then? They're beautiful photographs, I'll give you that. So... But that doesn't change the fact that they were taken without the girl's permission. It doesn't matter how well taken a picture is if its subject doesn't want to be photographed. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say here, don't you? I guess, yeah. By the way, we had heard that you were exchanging them with some of the other students. That's right. I'm afraid we're going to need to ask you to give us whatever you traded for, too. Fine. Rex handed Fidelio a magazine. It's full of pictures of girls. Well, at least he wasn't selling them for Mira. So, now what happens to me? The photos were too risque, I was going to tell you to leave the club. But I think I know just the way to put this all behind us. Fidelio tore up the photographs and put the photo courts under a bright light, utterly destroying the photographs on it. Exclamation! No! All my hard work! All my blood, sweat, and tears! Haha, <laughs> compared to having the instructors find out what you were doing, this is a cakewalk. Well, that's true. Not anyone other than Fidelio would have given forgiven me for what I did either. <laughs> well, you're a top-notch photographer after all. I know you'll do great things if you put your mind to it. You really think so? Um, I'm sorry I haven't been coming to the club for a while too. Haha, <laughs> as long as you realize what you did was wrong, I have no intention of harping on the matter any further. Looks like everything's okay between them now. That's a relief. Anyway, I'm not going to tell you to stop taking pictures of girls, but make sure you get their permission in the future, okay? I'm sure the photographs you take will turn out even better that way. Okay. Quest snapped completed. Received green pendulum as reward. Snaps, guys. Really, snaps. I don't know, that was bad. Uh, let's see. What was that other side quest? Um... 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bridget. Yeah. I actually really like this quest. So she should be in the upper class dorms, if I remember correctly. She's the... Yeah, yeah, she's white uniform. So yeah, she's in the upper class dorms. Let us go forth and talk to Bridget. Ah, Bridget. Hello. You're Bridget from class two, right? If so, I'm here to help with the request that you sent in to the student council. That's me, all right. And you're Irene from class seven. Now that we've established that we know each other, let's get down to business. Can you get started right now? Let's get down to business to defeat the quest. I sure can. Ask away. Phew. Thank you. So you wrote that you're having some issues with your childhood friend? That's right. Alan from class four, to be specific. We're from the same town and we used to go to Sunday school together. I ended up having to leave school that leave that school though. And I never saw him after that, so that's why I was so happy to run into him again here, but... Ah, I see where this is going. You're an upper-class student, though, aren't you? I'm surprised you were childhood friends with someone who, well, isn't. <laughs> what? Is it that weird? Well, I wouldn't say it's weird, but it's pretty rare, isn't it? Well, it's true that nobles and commoners don't have many opportunities to interact with one another in Erebonia. I'm just the daughter of a baron, though, so our family isn't all that influential. My father was never one to put much importance on social standing, either. He even let me attend Sunday school on my own since it was close enough to home. That would explain it. Guess your dad's kind of like mine. So what exactly would you like me to do? You said you weren't sure what he was thinking? Well, I'm not sure why, but Alan's been doing everything he can to avoid me ever since we met up again here. He just gives me the cold shoulder whenever I try to speak to him, too. That's not good. Any idea why he might be acting like this? Not at all. Which is why I'm so worried. I haven't done anything that could have offended him the few times we've talked. And it's not like he'd have such grudge from... Some grudge from when we were younger, either. We got along so well back then that we used to play together all the time. Hmm... It would be one thing if he was just avoiding me, but he started treating me like some sort of nuisance. As far as I can tell, something seems to have happened to him in a fencing club. Those could definitely be related. Either way, seems like the quickest solution is to ask Alan himself. Slow down for a sec. Don't worry. I'm not just going to walk right up to him and ask him directly, but he might be more willing to open up to another guy about it. I'll go talk to him and try to figure out what's going on in his head. Well then, thank you. Okay, I better go find him. Actually, before I go, I mean do, uh, do you know if he'll be at the fencing club today? Most likely, yes. You'll probably find him in the training hall. Got it. Before you go, Reed, please promise you'll tell me everything you managed to get out of him. If I'm to blame here, I'd rather know. Please don't hide that from me. I won't. I promise. Quest! Childhood Friends Intentions! Started. Yes. To the uh, fencing club. Yeah. Which is right here. Training hall. Ah, wait. I don't see Alan. What's going on here? Excuse me, I'm looking for a guy named Alan. He's supposed to be a member of this club, but... Is he off today or something? Not with my permission, at least. He didn't even mention he'd be out today. Oh? In other words, he's, skipped pra he's skipping practice. Got a feeling I know where he is, though. I see. Where exactly are you thinking? I'd check the field if I were you. Unlike Patrick, Alan actually cares about this club. Chances are he's skipping practice so he can train on his own. Oh well then, now that he mentions it, Patrick isn't here either. Ah, uh, that's not really an excuse, but I find it hard to blame him after what happened. 
Come to think of it, what did happen here last month? I'd only heard rumors. I'd rather not dig this stuff up, but both of them are skipping today, so what the hell? Truth is, Alan and Patrick faced off last month. Patrick, being the slimy little scumbag he is, made a show of holding back, then still beat Alan down. It was humiliating. Crushed all of Alan's confidence right out of him. I don't doubt it. That's why I'm letting him off easy for now. I'd like to see him bounce back from this, though. Tell you what. If you've got some business with Alan, do us a favor and tell him to drop by. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but we'd appreciate it. Of course, I'll try... I'll be sure to tell him if I have the chance. Academy Fields we go! Whoops. Yeah! Maybe we can get some information from Patrick. Huh? What are you doing here? It would be rude to show up at fencing club practice this late. So I've instead decided to spend this evening relaxing. That's the snootiest way I've ever heard of someone... I've ever heard someone say I'm skipping practice. <laughs> I'm certain you don't really want to concern yourself with the likes of me. Don't you have some little errand to run for the student council? Hmm... Not over there. Oh! Over in a corner. Um. I'm just asking because everybody's thinking, of, man, what the wall do to you? Why are you like. Have at thee with the wall? Alright. You're that guy from class 7, right? Do you have some business with me or something? No, nothing like that. I saw you training out here and was pretty impressed, that's all. That said, you seem a little hesitant and it's getting in the way of your form. What makes you think you can just show up and criticize me? Is this just because you're a noble? Yeah, that's right. I've heard about you. Should a high and mighty noble like you even talk to a lowly commoner like me? Or do you get a pass when it's condensation? Con Did I say condensation? Oh my goodness. Ah, all right. That stuff has never really bothered me. It seems like this guy has a noble-shaped chip on his whole shoulder. Putting our baggage aside for now, you came here to train, didn't you? How about you join me for a while? Me? Train with you? Yeah, it's a chance to practice in a way you wouldn't normally. I'm sure you'd find it beneficial. What do you say? Well, I don't know what you're planning, but if it'll make me stronger, then I'm on board. I wouldn't say no to some big fancy noble who took the time out of his busy day to ask me anyway. <laughs> okay, I'll go get everything ready. I wonder if Instructor Sarah will let me borrow one of the combat shells. Reen called Instructor Sarah and she gave him permission to use a combat shell. You guys use this thing in class 7, right? Are we seriously going to fight it? It looks a little intimidating, but it makes for great training, I promise. I'll take point for now, so feel free to attack as often as you like. Right. So, I don't really know how this goes. Oh, okay. Meet the following conditions. Alan deals the finishing blow. Alan is conscious at the battle's end. My turn. So we're gonna use our first attack. To battle scope. Huh. All right, so I completely botched that, so we're gonna do this over again um, without accidentally huh. killing the thing ourselves. <laughs> oh, nice miss. Oh, yeah, he does a lot more damage than I had initially go. thought. Ha! He doesn't have any arts. What? My turn. Ha! 
Ah, uh, my turn. I think we can get one more attack in with Reen. Here we go. And that's gonna be the limit. Yep. And I think we're just going to spam range craft. My turn. And we're gonna use a Tira. Here we go. Not good. I hope he's uh, attached it to Reen. He hasn't. Oh, no. Uh, that doesn't have impede. Okay, so we're going to have to move out of the way. Oh, good thing we moved out of the way. That would have hurt. Go! So, do we have anything that will give a buff to... Our buddy here. Hmm. I'll try the steak skewer. It's good strength increase. Miss. My turn. Wow, what a waste. My turn. Stop having your turn, Reen. Oh, we moved it too far away. Whoops. Go. <laughs> nice one. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, stop having turns, Reen. Oh, no. Go. Not going to waste the Zerum. I'm sure some of the food grants uh, CP, though. Yeah, we'll use that. Ha! Nice. My turn. Go. My turn. Oh, uh, go. almost got him. Here we go. Here we go. I wonder how much damage this is going to do to Reen. <laughs> oh, it's actually pretty decent. Good job, Alan. Did we win? You bet we did. Not surprising after that last attack of yours. That was a sight to behold. Thanks. I feel like I've got my confidence back now, at least a little bit. Good to hear. Dots. What's the matter? Oh, uh, I feel kind of bad about all the flack I gave you earlier. That's all. I mean, you know, all the high and mighty noble stuff. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. But is there some reason you got so caught up in that? Dots. It's embarrassing to say out loud, but envy, I guess. I used to be awful at almost everything I did. Sports, studying, anything you can think of. Still am, really. But I knew this noble who was basically my opposite. She could try anything and do it flawlessly. I, always, I was always so frustrated by that. All I wanted to do was be her equal, but no matter what I did, I couldn't manage it. <laughs> That's a pretty lame reason, huh? No, not at all. But that noble you're talking about, it's Bridget, isn't it? Exclamations! 
How did you know? Sorry, I guess it's time to come clean. Green told Alan about Bridget's request. So that's how she felt. Now that I think about it, I really have been acting like a jerk. In your defense, I can sort of understand why you acted that way. Nobody wants to show their weakness to someone they look up to. It's not even that I look up to her so much as I want her to just look at me. Huh. What do you mean by... Yeah, nothing. Forget I said anything. Haha. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Anyway, if that's what she sent you here for, I'll go talk to her. Besides, I owe a personal apology for being so mean to her lately. She needs to know that my issue is with myself, not with her. In fact, I'll go do that right now. That's a relief. I hope the two of you can smooth things over. Me too. Thanks for all you've done for me today. Quest childhood friends and tensions completed. Hello, Reen Schwarzer of Class 7 speaking. It's Nightheart. Are you free at the moment, Schwarzer? I am. Do you need something? Good. As it so happens, I have a little proposal for you. If you have a moment to spare, come speak with me in the faculty lounge. I'll give you the details in person. Is this an urgent matter? No, there's no need to rush. Or even come along at all if you can't make it. Your other responsibilities take precedence. If you do have the time, however, I would appreciate your presence. I wonder what this proposal is. Hold on, wasn't he supposed to be returning to his unit today? Oh, well, I'm sure I'll find out whenever I make it to the faculty lounge. Yes. Now, I really don't know why it was so important to have Alan deliver the finishing blow. Oh, you get bonus AP for it. Okay. Duh. It probably said that, huh? It's probably like, ah, conditions to meet bonus AP. This, this, and this. Or, well, there are only two conditions, but yeah. Wow. Before we go talk to Instructor Nightheart, though. Ah! Oh, Reen, thank you so much for your help. Thanks to you, Alan finally told me everything, and it's such a relief. Everything? Does that mean... That's right, he admitted that he was just talking, taking his frustration out on me. How ridiculous, right? He should know that if he's got something on his mind, I'll always be there to listen and help him out. Hey, a man of the Empire can't just go around relying on everyone else to solve his problems for him. Haha, <laughs> looks like Alan found a way to make their relationship even more complicated. Oh yes, please take this. It's nothing much, but it's the least I can do after he went through all that trouble. Received water bill. I never thought of it as trouble in the first place. I appreciate it, though. You've got my thanks, too. That training session earlier taught me a lot. You and me both. You've got a tougher road ahead of you, but good luck, soldier. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Here's hoping. Dots? Well, it's nice to hear that he doesn't hate me or anything. <laughs> thanks for all your help today, Reen. I've caused Friedel and everyone else in the fencing club a lot of trouble. Uh, I'm pretty damn pathetic, huh? No. Not pathetic. I think, though, we will end the episode right here. Next time we will go figure out what it is that Instructor Nightheart wants us to do. And... Maybe, probably do the old schoolhouse as well. Um, But... Instructor Nightheart is right here, and this is where we will pick up next time. Until then, goodbye for now.